Welcome ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, um, the birthdays for the Pisces. Uh, Pisces who were born 8th of March until 14th of March. It is your birthdays. Let's see what is coming up in your solar year. Um, um, and uh, um, see what the changes that is going to be coming up and is transpiring. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So um, for the people who were born on the 8th, I see you have the magician. So this is going to be a very, very wonderful, powerful year. Um, the energy of the magician is striking. It is good. It is positive. The energy of the magician, it's about you um, receiving all of the tools that you need in order to create uh, some sort of a stability in your world. The people who are born on the night, um, we have the energy and we're going to be doing this um, um, people by people because that is going to be much better and then you can have the rest of the energy. So um, whoever is born on the 8th of March, congratulations. It's International Women Day. All you women, I'm sending you a lot of love, okay? A lot of love is um, coming from me to all you ladies who are um, born on the 8th of March. I was blessed to have a, a woman in my life that was born on the 8th of March. I think it's one of the most beautiful person I've ever met. I think that person have taught me a lot. So to all the women out there who was born on the 8th of March, um, congratulations. And let's look and see what's coming up in your solar year for 2021 to 2022. So you have the energy of the magician. And what we have is that um, some sort of a money information. A lot of you who wants to start your own business is a yes, go for it. You are going to be having all that you need in order um, to start your business. I see a lot of uh, success is going to be coming in. A lot of you who are thinking about going to start a business, it's a yes, go for it. Your business is going to be having this um, new life coming in your business because we're going to be seeing a whole lot of transformation that is going to be coming in your business. It's as if people recognize that you're very good at what you do. Then I see the energy of the Knight of Wands and whoever this person is, a lot of you are going to be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person, whoever this person is, um, could be trying to work against you or you're having some sort of a problem at work with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person, whoever this person is. I see you're going to be standing your ground against this person because you recognize that this person has been creating a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues. People are going to be recognizing who this person is and what this person have been doing, okay? So um, it is good because a lot of you um, who are connected um, with this person, whoever this person is, uh, and whoever is connected with this person, I see a lot of truths is going to be coming out about some sort of a or a play sorry ladies and gentlemen i'm trying to get a deck of cards um they're going to be recognizing some sort of a foul play with a, a aries v or a sagittarian person whoever this person is and whatever they have done people are going to be recognizing some sort of a foul play that this person has created and they're going to be coming down on this person very, 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 very hard, okay? Because they recognize what this person have done. So again, for the people who were born 8th of March, I see you have the energy of the magician. It is going to be good whenever it comes up to business, work, whatever situation that is going on with business and work, it's going to be absolutely fabulous, absolutely good. Um, a whole lot of business is going to be coming in and uh, they're going to be recognizing some of you could be dealing with uh, someone that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person and they're going to be recognizing what this person have done. This person is uh, um, between the age of 18 and that this person could have been accessing your data and information and people are going to be recognizing um, the uh, play of this person. So um, whoever is going to be deciding to start their home business is going to be a yes, go for it. A lot of people, this could be a child that you're working on some sort of an issue with. Um, it could be a colleague or a child. 
But whoever this person is, they're recognizing some sort of a false play from this person, okay? You have one, you have seven, you're moving forward, you're removing um, someone that was creating a whole lot of issues in your world. People are now recognizing the full play of this person and you are basically moving them out of uh, your world and this is going to be good. So I see some sort of a news. Um, so I said to you guys, it could be that you're working or you're dealing with a child that is an Aries D or Sagittarius. And I see some sort of a news is going to be coming in from this person. So um, people are going to be recognizing that this person have been creating a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues. People are going to be recognizing who this person is and the unfair games and some sort of information is going to be coming out about an Aries D or Sagittarian person. It could be a child. Okay, you're going to be finding out something about this person in this year. You're going to be have to be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person, whoever this person is, because you're going to be receiving some sort of an information from this person telling you something about this person. Okay, so it is a positive year. A lot of you are going to be having forward movement. People are going to be recognizing that your work is very good, whatever you are doing. Um, people are going to be accepting you for who you are at the workplace. And I see a lot of business could be coming in for a whole lot of you. Then we have the energy for the people who were born on the 9th of March. Um, you have the energy of uh, um, the moon and the energy of the moon um, guides you Pisces. So a lot of you who um, were born on the 9th of March, the energy of mo the moon is bringing out a whole lot of secrets, but it's going to be positive. Your wishes and dreams is going to be coming through. You have the nine of cups in upright position. So a lot of you who were born on the 9th of March, it is very good. Um, a whole lot of secrets came out and your wishes and dreams is going to be fulfilled. Victory and success is coming up for you guys. It's going to be a powerful year. Um, this is good. This is two cards of yes, yes, yes. So whatever you guys uh, um, that was hoping to do um, in the month of uh, um, this year, 2021 going into 2022, it is going to be a yes because people are now recognizing and recognizing some sort of a false game that has happened and transpired. You're going to be getting out of this and your wishes and dream is going to be granted. It is in the middle and it is showing up in the upright. So a lot of you are going to be, uh, it's going to be a victorious year for a lot of you, but it's all, it's all going to be a year where your wishes and dreams is coming through. So a lot of you, a whole lot of secrets was old against you and you were not aware of this. And these secrets are now coming out and people are going to be recognizing what was happening and transpiring. And because of these secrets coming out, it is going to be granting your wishes and dreams and you're going to be having some sort of a victorious outcome over some sort of a um, play that was going on, secrecy that was kept against you and you're going to be very, very victorious and successfully overcoming all of the difficulties that you have been going in. And so if you notice, it's the ninth, the ninth. So there is ending endings to a lot of secrecy the energy of the moon is 18 which is nine you have the nine of cups in upright so that is another happiness and joy wishes and dreams come in tune and then you have the six of ones that is showing up that hey whatever the problem the issues whatever that you were going through you're now going to be victoriously successfully overcoming that so congratulations ladies and gentlemen you have twice a nine in this year and victory and success this is really having this as an end card this is saying to you that you're going to be very very victorious and successfully um coming over some sort of an issue some sort of a problem that was there and that was created and it could be by a fire sign person they're going to be recognizing who is this fire sign person and what has this fire sign person um uh, uh, done and you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming this person so it's a powerful powerful year twice nine they're going to be recognizing a whole lot of jealousy 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 a whole lot of jealousy and a whole a lot of you are going to be overcoming this jealousy that has been plaguing your life for a very very long time a lot of jealousy a whole lot of jealousy 
all right let's move on you guys have 18 9 99 a cycle is going to be over some sort of a secrecy that was going on is going to be over you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming these secrets and situation and a lot of people are going to be happy some of you had a jealous girlfriend it's going to be ending you're going to be victoriously overcoming this jealous girlfriend we're moving on to the people who were born on the 10th of march we have justice 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 for the people who were born on the 10th of march and we have justice you're getting out of some sort of a hardship that you were in a lot of you uh, were in some sort of a hardship justice came up and is resolving a situation and uh, people are recognizing some sort of a the unable um really this this um tasteful situation that was transpiring in your world justice came up and it's coming down on a Aries person and uh and a Taurus uh, and they're recognizing some sort of a deceptive play of an Aries person and a Taurus so we have the ace of cups here in the reverse but it's okay because no matter how the ace of cups is as if people are hating you but the universe is loving you for who you are so um for the solar year from 2021 right back to 2022 a lot of you are going to be standing up for injustice and equality you're going to be getting a lot of hate coming at you but that is going to be bringing you out of some sort of a hardship that people had created for you and you're going to be standing your ground so this is going to be a really powerful year justice is in the upright you're going to be having some sort of a balance a lot of you could be dealing with divorce some of you were having uh, issues and problems with divorce you could have been dealing with a liberal <coughs> sorry however way it's happening and transpiring yeah they're coming down on this person and recognizing some sort of a foul play that was transpiring and i see um, that people are not going to be showing you love, but the universe is saying, hey, love yourself. You don't need um, these false people around you. They're just going to be saying, love yourself. So love is here. A lot of you are going to be very, very happy. It doesn't really matter if people are not showing you the love and the appreciation. It's because you stood up for yourself. So don't worry about this and you are going to be receiving a new start because they are going to be recognizing that a lot of you were worked against and they're going to be recognizing this and seeing the truth of what was happening and what was transpiring so this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous you are going to be getting a new start even though um you know people are not loving you um, the way you want to be love or appreciation. But what is transpiring is that there was a group of people that was trying to work against you and you stood your ground um, in a very positive way. And by standing your ground, you are definitely going to be receiving um, a new start. Your wishes and dream is going to be coming through. Help is going to be coming in and people are going to be balancing you out. Okay. I see that whatever is transpiring is as if um, people had collaborated against you and um, people recognize that you were worked against and they're going to be resolving the situation because uh, um, the balance, the scale is going to be balanced towards what was happening and what was transpiring in your world. So this is also a good year for you guys that was born on the tent. You have the energy of... Uh, um uh 11 which is duality you're going to be recognizing that there were people that was working against you um and they're going to be caught and um it's as if they're not showing you any love but it's okay let it go and you have the ace of cups in reverse the energy of the ace of cups in reverse is that you know some of you need to love yourself more and some of you um love is not coming in because you stood up for yourself and that's okay because you are going to be okay. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Let's look at <coughs> the center. The center is the sun. So ladies and gentlemen, for each and every one of you, especially people that was born on the 11th, you are going to be extremely, extremely successful. Whatever issue problems that was happening and transpiring, not to worry about it. You have the energy of the sun. And the sun is going to be shedding light on a whole lot of things that was happening and transpiring. 
<coughs> sorry they're going to be recognizing a lot of money that uh, um, people are trying to get away with so whoever you you are who was born on the 11th is um, is as if light is going to be shining on a lot a lot of money that you were supposed to receive in the past and you never received this money and people are going to be starting looking to see where did this money go which account where did this money go um because they recognize that a whole lot of you a whole lot of money should have come to you and it didn't come to you the four of swords a whole lot of you that was dealing with unfair um play unfair issues unfair problems you are going to be resolved you're going to be very very victor victorious because they're going to be investigating or looking deeper in a situation and recognize that a whole lot of you had lost a whole lot of money and they're going to be balanced out the situation because here whenever we have the four of swords in the upright when it's coming in with a six of pentacles they're going to be recognized that people and kind of hold back a whole lot of money a whole lot of money that should have come to you did not come to you and they're now going to be getting to the bottom of it to, re to really see where did this money go because they recognize that a whole lot of you lost some money okay so it could be money on the stock market or money um from uh air finance or insurance money money that was supposed to pay it out to you were never paid out to you money was the that was supposed to be in some sort of a stock or on um some sort of a bond and that sort of a thing it was never it never came to you they're going to be now investigating and recognizing this so it's going to be a year where money is going to be returning to a lot of you yeah uh, all of you that was born 8 until 14, a whole lot of money, unexpected money is going to be returning to a lot of you because they're now looking to find out where some money went, okay? And uh, I see um, some of you could be worried because some of you could have been, um, you know, working on a situation, fighting for a long time because you have lost money and uh, no one was looking at uh, the situation. A lot of you were speaking up, speaking up. No one was looking at the situation and all of a sudden, people are now looking at the situation and recognizing um, that, um, you know, what you say is correct. Um, so it could be a long, a long lasting thing that was going on where a lot of money was missing or you were supposed to get a lot of money they said that they had transferred the money money was never in the account they have never seen the money in the account however this is transparent they're now looking at this situation and recognizing that there was some sort of a um, um false game that was created so a whole lot of you who was for it eight until 14 to of March is going to be regaining some money. I see people are really looking deep in a situation and is trying to figure out and is trying to recognize where money went. Okay, so it could be managers and that sort of a thing. You could be the manager that is recognizing that your sales were down or invoice wasn't paid or there is long open stand. It can be in different, different ways. It could be that you bought something and you transfer money but the money is never now like you're trying to pay off for your vehicle or whatever is going on but i see that people are now taking a situation very serious and is looking in um some sort of a contract some sort of a document and is recognizing that the money had never ever entered the account and however it is so it says you guys were supposed to get some money and you never get it so you're going to be successful um, huge success is going to be coming in and they have to return the money or a lot of you are going to be like receiving unexpected money that you never know was there for you. So people who are born in the 11th is a very successful year. Um, um, help is going to be coming in where you're going to be receiving money because they're going to be recognizing that there was some money situation with money that was not fairly dealt with. And a lot of you are going to be finding inner strength and going with it in, in order to create stability in your world. And it's going to be good. So if you notice, it is a real positive energy that is going to be coming up in this year. You have the energy of the sun. <clears throat> the sun is 10, new start, new beginning. 
um omega your spirit guides is going to be coming in and helping you six is materialistic stability that is going to be coming back to you money um is going to be coming back to you and the four of swords is that you're bringing balance to some sort of a conflicts that was going on so you have six four twice ten so new start new beginning is going to be coming up for you guys so congratulations we're looking at the people who were born on the 12th all the people that was born on the 12th you have the energy of the world a cycle is now over a lot of you have successfully overcome some sort of a problem issue secrets that was kept the cycle is now going to be over you're going to be successfully overcoming the cycle this is going to be good with this energy i see friends i see um a lot of you um friends are going to be there i see new people coming into your life I see you are going to be um, getting on board with new people, um, you know, people who are honest, people who are honest and upright. You're going to be getting on board with these people and it's going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic because they are going to be coming in in order to help you and balance out some sort of a situation. I see they're going to be recognized uh, um, something about a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. A lot of you are going to be moving forward with financial stability. So this is good. Um, some of you are going to be taking on the energy of uh, this uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. Um, you're going to be taking on the energy of a hurt person. And I see that this is going to be good. A cycle is going to be over for a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man or woman. Because this could have been a friend. A cycle is going to be over between you and this friend. Because they recognize something that was happening and transpiring. This friend could be a Capricorn friend. They, You have successfully overcome this Capricorn friend. They recognize um, some sort of a play that this person did. I see that this person could have been a Capricorn lawyer who have created some sort of a play. You're going to be overcoming and successfully because you're going to be getting yourself out of a situation. So whoever this Capricorn lawyer is, a cycle is going to be over for this lawyer. Um, this could be a lawyer, but it could be a friend. And a cycle is going to be over. This is definitely a Capricorn person. Um, between the ages of 18 and 45, some sort of a cycle is over for them because people recognize some sort of a fall play that this person have done and people are now seeing the truth, uh, who this person is. It is definitely a lawyer and it is a, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn lawyer. They're now recognizing uh, what this person have done. I see no love is coming from you to this person because um, it's as if this person got you in some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation, and they're now recognizing what this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn have done. I see peace is going to be coming into your world because they you successfully overcome this friend and what this friend have done. And now peace is going to be coming back because they recognize who this friend is. It's a young Capricorn person um for some of you between the age of 18 and 45 maybe it's your child but it's not really a it couldn't be a, your child but it is coming up for some of you as a child some of you as a friend um and they are now recognizing i see justice comes down on a taurus man justice came down on a taurus man because they recognize what this taurus lawyer have done and a Capricorn lawyer, they recognize the truth of what a Taurus man and a Capricorn lawyer have done. So a cycle is going to be over for some friends, some friendships, some groups with a Capricorn and with a Taurus person. They now recognize how these people had played out a situation and has created some sort of a problem. You are ending this situation and you are taking back your life or taking back your child. It could be a divorce. It could be that you have been in some sort of a relationship with this person. So we see a cycle is over and peace is going to be coming in between you and this person. They recognize the foul play of these people and what these people have done. Um, it's really coming up as a man for some of you. Okay, so you could have been in a business partner with a... Ver um, this is really a Taurus man and a Capricorn person and some sort of a legalities or problems, some sort of a friendship, business uh, relationship that has gone bad. They're now recognizing that. All right. So you guys have uh, uh, 21 and 3, 6, 21, 3 and 6, 21, 
three and six we're moving on to the people who were born on the 13th you have the energy of the star so people who were born on the 13th you have the energy of the star now this is not success this is healing this is healing some sort of a karmatic issue because before that you have the energy of the world which is a cycle is over and it can be success for some people but it is more coming up as a, um, an healing is coming in so you are going through some sort of a legalities problems uh, um, and now a cycle is here is over and you're trying to heal um, the problem or heal the situation moving forward I see you have regrets regrets a lot of you who were born on the 13th you have a lot of regrets regrets with a Aquarian person regrets with some sort of a situation with friends you really regret this I see you want to end some sort of a relationship and some sort of a friendship you regret that you ever got connected with a group of people and I see some sort of a news is coming in. Some of you, a new child could be coming in. Um, some of you could be getting pregnant. Uh, um, but whatever the news is, if the news is coming in from a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, maybe this is your child. Um, whatever the news is, is coming from a child. And it is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. So a lot of you are dealing with a lot of issues. You people who are born under 13 are dealing with a lot of issues. A lot of issues where you recognize some sort of a relationship is going to be over um, information uh, marriage is could be ended problems with your child information is coming from your child that sort of a situation that is coming up and transpiring and some of you who are in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person I see that you regret this relationship. You regret what was happening. It is not yet over and you just want this to be over and you walk away. Okay, so this is more of a healing. It's not of success. It is more of a healing trying to um, resolve a situation with a friend. Okay, and trying to move forward. But it is as if... Uh, this situation with this friend whether it's a taurus Virgo or a capricorn person is going to be lasting for a very long time very long time and i see some of you want to reconnect with a person and apologize or reconnect with a person and have some sort of a conversation but it's not happening and i see you're really trying to get to this person but this person is uh, like um they are over they they you know whatever has transpired you want to resolve the issue resolve the situation with whatever has transpired between you both but it's as if this person went after you and went for blood you know um it is a situation where this person was like oh you know since you did me this we are friends but you created all of this energy in my world i no longer wants to deal with you anymore and then we see the energy of the the star where you're trying to heal some sort of an emotional situation and trying to communicate um, with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, but it's not working for some of you is some sort of a problem that some of you have with a Taurus man, um, some sort of a legal problem with a Taurus man. I see some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a, um, um, information and this lawsuit just keep on going on and on and on. And a lot of you are really sick of this. Okay. So this is a year for you guys that is born on the 13th. It's going to be a very emotional year. It's going to be a year that you're dealing with issues and problems with other people. And it's an ongoing process. You're going to be having it in this year going back until next year. So the Eight of Cups is in reverse where this, it, this is a really emotional situation that is going on and on. And you're hoping with energy of the star for it to, to end at some time, at some stage. But it is not going to be happening. However, this is transpiring. It's as if Jesus, it's as if it's not going to be happening. And you are just really upset about the whole situation. And you just want to, um, you know, go through this year. So you're going to be emotional in this year. So we have the energy of the star that is 17. Then we have the energy of the eight of cups that is eight one. So you have twice 88. So a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a, um, financial problems. Yes. A lot of you are going to be having a whole lot of financial problems that is going to be coming up. So people who are born on the 13th, some of you, it's going to be good. 
Some of you could be handling some sort of a dragged out lawsuit or dragged out issue with a whole lot of money. But some of you are going to be having some sort of a financial problem that is going to be coming up where you have to repay a whole lot of money. Okay, where you have to repay a whole lot of money. So this is going to be transparent. So you have one, uh, twice, eight and 17. Um, it is about healing some sort of an ongoing financial situation that you have been going through all right let's move on to the people who were born on the 14 you are going to be having a new start congratulations so people who were born on the 14 a new start is going to be coming in you are going to be um, creating a new start for yourself so whether it's in business relationship love whatever is transpiring you're going to be definitely creating some sort of a positive new start moving you forward um and what we see is that some of you have created that new start um, coming in this year. So you are going to be working on that. Uh, and I see you're going to be making decision um, if it is better for you to stay in what you're doing or to create some sort of a new stability for yourself. So a lot of you, whatever this new start is, and you see a lot of you could be waiting for news for this new start. And I see some sort of a decision is going to be um, happening where a lot of you could be waiting on to hear the decision. What is going to, if the decision is going to be making your favor or not, that sort of a situation. But um, when we look at these two um, energies, because we see, um, this is an energy of Uranus. So a lot of you could be having problems with Aquarian and uh, is hoping that this Aquarian will give some of you a new start. And whatever it, it is, uh, um, a whole lot of you are going to be in limbo the whole of this year, in limbo, waiting for some sort of a information. So it's going to be taking a year for a lot of you to receive some sort of a information. You're sitting in limbo because you're waiting for some sort of a information to come in and you're going to be sitting in limbo for like a year for some sort of a resolution to happen okay so um here we go here we're seeing what is happening and transpiring and a lot of you are going to be recognizing maybe it is better um to you know to take this time to have a new start in my life. So, you know, it's coming up for a lot of people in different races because different people is on different fre frequency. Um, and a lot of people are going to be recognizing, hey, um, maybe this year is a year where I should make that new start. So you're going to be contemplating. It's a year of contemplation, whether or not you should make some changes in your life. So you have the omega so you're going to be connected with your spirit guide trying to figure out um if uh, um you know that's uh, um a good idea a lot of you are going to be um with your spirit guides trying to figure out and i see it is going to be an emotional year and it's going to be very emotional because you want to know whether or not you should make a new start so however this is coming up however this is transpiring it is all about you um, going to be recognizing whether or not a lot of you could be winning also a lot of money in this year. Okay. So you guys have, um, one and two and Omega. Omega is, is so it says the universal angels and guides is really coming in, really, um, you know, showing up and really saying, Hey, you know, we can help you out in whatever way. Um, and uh, you know, this is the situation. This is a wonderful time to make this new start. So let's look at what is transpiring when it's come on to work and money. Um, uh, work, um, anyone who have business is going to be a very good year. Okay. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that is better than I, I work for myself or created a side business for myself. You're going to be recognizing that that is where the universe is pushing a whole lot of you in and this is going to be good then we see some sort of a situation that some of you were dealing with an aries the or sagittarius person and you're going to be victoriously overcoming this person it could have been a lover um whoever this person is you no longer or showing them no love because they have gotten you caught up in a whole lot of legal actions with uh, issues with friends and legal actions so what we see is that secrets 
is coming out of some sort of a collaboration of friends you got caught up in this situation a lot of you are trying to get out of this situation in this year and resolve it but it's as if whoever get caught up with some sort of a problems and issue with friends um it is a situation where you could have had a lover and you were supporting this person so this could be a side piece chick that a whole lot of you were supporting the side piece trick but the side piece trick uh, um got you in problems because they wanted you to financial support them and what is now transpiring is that now you're recognizing that this person pushed you in a whole lot of financial problem because you had to support them so i see you're letting go of this relationship a lot of you a lot of you are going within and is recognizing um that i have to end some sort of a situation you're waiting for some sort of a news to come in and a lot of you are dealing with a young um capricorn person and a young taurus person a lot of you are dealing with these people a young capricorn and a young taurus between the age of 18 and 45 these could be children but these are people who are younger than you or in the same age group but you're dealing with these people because these people is as if these people are created some sort of a problem some sort of an issue for you a lot of you who are managers is going to be recognizing that there was a lot of uh, unfair game that was played a news um and is, is jealousy of a new start but i see people in power is standing up and is creating some sort of a um um um, um peace to a situation and a whole lot of money is going to be coming out so a lot of you are going to be recognizing that a whole lot of people were jealous of you receiving some sort of a new start okay a whole lot of you and jealousy jealousy is going to be coming at you a whole lot of jealousy is going to be coming at you so you've got to be aware of this you've got to be um very aware of the people and the situations around you a lot of people are going to be finding out that people were jealous of their kids and that is a serious situation so i see a lot of you you are going to be dealing with school masters uh, um teachers and that sort of a thing a lot of you who are parents is going to be standing up to protect your kids and i see that this is going to be very good i see peace is going to be coming in um there is a whole lot of problems with money peace is going to be coming in um a lot of you um especially people who were born on the 13 is going to be having some real issues with financial um with money like you have to pay back a whole lot of money like you owe a lot of gambling and that sort of a situation so people who are born on the 13 um it is a year where you're going to be caught up uh, in some sort of a situation where you have to pay back a whole lot of money and it's because of some of you had a side piece jake who has not been speaking the truth and has not told you the truth about something and now you're meeting a whole lot of financial problem that was created by this person whoever this person is i see you're going to be happily overcoming this person because i see justice is coming down on this person and uh, um it's also coming down on a taurus person because they recognize what a taurus person have done and if you notice the energy of this fire sign is in the past and in the past uh, this fire sign has gotten some sort of a um stability from a taurus person they're recognizing that this person is not the one okay so i see information is going to be coming to you from an aries or a sagittarius person and I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming some sort of a problems and issue. And these people are coming up as friends or uh, as as uh, friends, but also as um, um, children that you're having issues, problems with family members, um, friends. But um, whoever this person is has created a whole lot of issues. And I see that a resolution is coming in. I do love you guys. Please remember to... Um, share these videos and come back and look at those videos because a lot of you are going to be having um, the issues that is coming up is going to be affecting a lot of you your focus on the day that you are born but yet still you're going to be working so if you were born on the 14 you're going to be starting with issues with the, you know thinking about whether or not you should go start your own business then you're going to be coming in in the month of uh, 
uh, April with, yeah, you're going to start your own business and you're going to be moving forward, not waiting for anyone else. Um, then May, you have some sort of a secrets come out, but you're going to be happy March. And that's how you're going to be working the energy. So each and every person, because you're in a collaboration of uh, the cycle of uh, people from the 8 until the 14, you're all going to be feeling all of these energies, maybe two or three times. If you don't get the first one, the first one right, then the second time. So you're going to be recognizing April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So this energy of, uh, you, you know, creating a business or working out some sort of a problem with an Aries D or fire sign person is going to be coming up for the people who were born on the 14th twice, okay? So that's how you look at the energy and each month you can know what is going to be affecting you because you're going through a cycle of a 12-month cycle that is bringing you back to your next solar year of 2022. I do love you guys. Please like, share.